What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the deluxe national team selection for Turkey. So we already had these three guys and these three packs, Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. And now we are moving on to Turkey. I will upload the last of these today, as well as the Turkey one, which will be going out tonight or whenever it goes out, maybe today, um, to get it out. Because I know a lot of people will be interested in this one because there are some nice nice gems in this pack lad so we do have two four six we have 11 players here for turkey it is a full start in 11 um and you've got a lot of decent players in it especially uh shalhang oglu shalhangaloo yeah shalhangaloo that's how you pronounce his name somebody told me shalhangaloo shalhangaloo yeah there we go let me know if i'm right or wrong lads i'm working on my pronunciations but we do have shalhangaloo here uh who is very 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 decent he is a kind of a messy alternative as well we had with the napoli pack Zelinski. uh shalhangalu has been one of the guys that i had very early doors and he was very decent so i probably will try and get this guy if i'm able um but there's some nice players in here especially because of the levels right so you've got like uh this guy at 28 levels then you've got oscan at uh 42 levels uh you've got kaku or koku koshu at 35 levels demoral under a lot of these guys can go very decent with their stats because of their player levels right so um i'm going to focus on maybe four or five of them of the main guys that i think you should probably be getting and training up if you do actually get them because obviously this is a a coin only agent so you can spin obviously for it you can get your your coins and spin uh if you want to um but it's not like buying the pack like the 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 other ones like say when you buy the full squad so um yeah starting with this guy here as a left back fairly decent again he does have standard form and on c rating but so many player skills unbelievable player skills nice height nice weight excellent dribbling type possession low pass uh is very high as well 82 acceleration obviously he's let down with his defensive abilities such as tackling and aggression which is very low for a full back with the way that the gameplay is but definitely worth a watch and if you do get him he is a full back finisher as well if you do get him i definitely think he's uh he's somebody that you could train up um we've also got this guy here uh Arturkalu uh he's got 84 acceleration he's got unwavering form he's got one touch pass track back heel touch rising shot chop turn double touch everything that you could possibly want for a prolific winger the only thing that i think lets him down is obviously his player level because when you look at the other options that you have on here i think that under does have slightly better um skills than him but i could be wrong i could be 100 wrong uh because i think that under just has that like kind of like natural more natural kind of prolific winger ability although this guy can play left and right wing as well yeah let's so if we take a look at him maxed out just to see here he does max out at a 91 overall i'm going to save that card obviously as well uh for a future episode or a future video because this is a very interesting card he does have c form as well um but yeah very decent now when we compare him with under who's a right winger and he can play both it's kind of like whichever one of these he get uh they're very similar players they've both got like speed over 90 or close to 90 acceleration like 93 uh whereas this guy's got 93 as well and then obviously it comes down to the dribbling and the ball control and the tight possession kick and power and balance you can see there that under is slightly um slightly better in kick and power and uh uh, the rest are yeah this guy's got better dribbling so it's kind of pick your poison with both of these um it depends on which one that you pack obviously and they both are kind of of a similar age as well and uh, one is left one is right wing they're both very similar in position in height they're exactly the same height um yeah i mean they're pretty much identical players one is left foot one is right foot very interesting players to have if you had on the left and right flanks because they've got everything you've got your acceleration dribbling ball control tight possession kick and power balance that is all that you need the one thing is under is actually a two form so he's not an unwavering form whereas this guy is so that's the two of them that we will be checking out um on top of that then as well we have got lester's sionchu uh, uh who well he used to play for leicester i'm not too sure if he still plays for leicester it doesn't look like he does i'm way out of attack there um but yeah this guy is obviously one of the best players to get in the pack as well if you're looking for just a dominant defensive player like if you're not looking for speed too much with your center backs you can always go a different option uh, if you do want speed but i definitely think that this guy could be good as well uh he's a very decent player 
And as far as I know, he is still with Leicester. He's just not playing that often at all. So um, he was one of my favourite players to watch for Leicester. Not, uh, no nonsense kind of centre back. And I think he had a really good year from there one year. Maybe it was last year they did a good year from. But uh, I could be mistaken him with somebody else. But I think it's him anyway, as far as I know. But yeah, he definitely isn't the best centre back in this pack, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but just to round off, we've already talked about under. So Demorel... He's obviously one of the guys that I will be looking at. This guy plays for Atalanta. He is an absolute monster, right? He he can play DMA or he can play CB or right back. Oh, excuse me. He has standard form, but he has got blocker, interception, man marking, a sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. Now, don't worry too much about his acceleration, lads, right? Because we're going to go over to eFootball DB here and look at his stats. Absolutely insane. These are top level stats. He's got the height of 190, he's got 79 speed, 72 header, he's got 81 physical contact and 82 stamina, and then his tackling is 92 with aggression 98. So insane stats from this guy, I'm looking forward to trying him out. Obviously his standard card is quite similar as well, not as good but it does get up fairly high as well, so check that out if you do not want to spin and you want to stay free to play while enjoying these players because they are very similar, including the same player form and all that sort of stuff as well. Moving on then as well to uh, our next players, we have got Oshkan and this guy who are both centre midfielders. Um, we are going to be taking a look at the second guy, but again, like these are some good players, lads. If you, Especially if you are a Turkish fan, these are some extremely good, viable players that you can use. Obviously, this guy's tackle and defensive uh, awareness, is he's more suited as an AMF kind of player, um, like or an, as an attack and CMF, like Pedri. Uh, which I think Pedri does wipe the floor with a lot of these guys. But speed and acceleration isn't too bad. His passing isn't too bad. His dribbling isn't too bad. He has got 42 levels to go, which is huge. But this is the guy that it kind of excites me more. Um, he's got amazing player skills. He's got a wavering form. He's on B rating. Dipping shot, one touch pass, true pass and long range. Shooting, weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, outside curler, roll off the pass. And cut behind in turn as well as a penalty specialist. And his base stats just from the, straight off the rip. His acceleration and his passing is brilliant. Like straight off without actually leveling him up 35 levels. When we do actually train him up over on eFootballDB.com. We are going to have one of the best CMFs in the game. If you're looking for an attacking option such as Pedri. Uh, you know his speed acceleration is excellent. His ball control type possession is excellent. Uh, it's obviously his dribbling is can be boosted up a little bit if you wanted to do that. But kick and power stamina low pass is really really good as well now if you wanted to right you could actually take away a bit of these stats for his speed right because obviously you're going to have a lot of speed here with 82 and 83 you don't need it that much higher than that like i would probably just leave that at 85 leave that at 83 give you 17 points you can actually bring this up quite high do you know what i mean you can bring this up quite good here if you wanted to do that and then maybe give him like even one more um with that with the actual uh, dribble and if you wanted to turn him into a bit of a dribble guy and then have a bit of aerial strength as well which you're still going to get the 91 cmf but you have got a different version of his car because you've got the ball control and dribbling now that are not going to be a liability that you can play in those tight pockets of space like pedri um we have also got the main the main man himself as uh, unal who again is a very big fan favorite from what I hear. I could be wrong with that one. I could be mixing him up with somebody now. But yeah, this guy, center forward, throw back, you know, in the air, uh, kind of a bit of a, a bully of a player, standard form, C rating. He's not going to, you know, massively change the dial for you. But again, somebody to look out for, as well as Shellek, who is an offensive fullback. This guy is very, very decent as well. Um, we kind of covered a lot of players like this. He's got excellent player skills for a right back. He's got really good defensive awareness. He's got really good speed and acceleration. We already featured one of these in the Napoli pack as well with De Lorenzo. So he plays very similar to that with 35 levels to train up. You're going to have mid-80 defensive skills and mid-80 strength, strength attributes such as his speed and acceleration being very high. Ball control and dribbling and passing don't really need to be looked at. And he can play right back or a left back or right mid or center uh, back as well as a secondary position and then last but not least we have our goalkeeper 
who's on a farm not a bad goalkeeper at all he's got long throw and high punt unwavering form on a rating very decent but as i said you probably should have an upper tier goalie by now and then Shalanglu, who's going to be the pick of him now this guy again as i said is an absolute monster really really strong player so i would definitely consider getting him if you guys are looking for that amf type player that can uh that can cause problems especially that he's on a form this week he is he does have inconsistent form but i definitely think he's worth it with the a rating this week if you do get him so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon with another player review and another couple of videos hope you guys are enjoying the videos let me know whether you guys will spin or skip and i'll talk to you later peace